Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how you can easily root and install a custom recovery on Samsung Tab S 10.5 inch Wi-Fi version that is SMT800 model. So guys, you need to firstly download two files. One is for routing, another one is a custom recovery. So guys, to root the device, you need to come to this particular web page. I leave this link in the description area below this video. So once you come over here, you have this download link over here. Just click on it and you'll go to the file hosting server. And from here, you can click this button, begin download. And after that, you need to click another link to start downloading. In this case, you can use this link. Simply click on this link and the download will begin. So that's the file you need to root the device. And once you have that, you need to download the file to install the custom recovery. So I would prefer TWRP recovery. There is also another recovery called as Fizz Touch recovery, but I had problems with this. So I would suggest you to install this. I'll leave a link to this page in the description area. So once you open this link, you need to go down. Actually, there is a way to install it very easily using the Google Play Store link, but that didn't work for me. So I went all the way down here to this section where it says this is for 10.5 inch version and you need to open these two links the first one and the middle so this is like a instructions page just in case if you want to know additional details and you need to download the files from here so you need to download this tar file just simply click on it and it will start downloading so I have already downloaded these two files so guys, first we need to start with rooting the device. So to root the device, we need to flash this file called AF auto root. So that's the file I downloaded from the first link. So let's open up Odin. You can use version 3.09 or 3.10. So just I'm going to first 3.09. Just in case if you don't have the software, I'll leave a link for that software in the description area below this video. So once you have the Odin open, you need to put your tab in the download mode. So guys, now you can check my device. So this is not a rooted device. Now let's power it off. By the way, it's currently running on Android 5.0.2. And just in case if you want to flash the lollipop on your Samsung tablets, I have already made a video for that. So please do check out that. So now we need to put the tablet in download mode. And for that, we need to press home button and volume down button and power button three at the same time. Just make sure that you unplug it from the computer just before you get started. And now press the home button volume down and the power button 3 at the same time until you see the screen and now you need to press volume up to continue which in our case is this so now the tab is in download mode now you need to connect the tab to your computer and just check out the Odin once you connect the tab to the computer you will see a small notification or you will see that the software has detected your device over here and just in case if it has not detected already it means that probably the drivers are not properly installed for your tablets in your PC so one easy way to do that is by using snappy so it's a PC suit like application for Windows so you can use that to install the drivers just in case if you didn't understand that, you can check out my other video on how to install drivers for any Android device automatically on Windows using Snappy. So let's get started. Now that we have everything that we wanted, now we need to firstly root the device. After that, we can flash the custom recovery. So to root the device, we need to select AP. And now we need to browse through the folders and select the root file which is cf auto root the file that you downloaded will be actually a zip file and once you extract it you will get this file and it will have an extension of md5 so just click it and then select it and the software will simply generate an md5 and check it with the file 
just to make sure that the file is not corrupted just give it some time it will seem as though the software is not responding but actually it is working in the background so we have it so everything's fine now and now to root the device all you need to do is simply press the start button you don't need to press any other thing over here just press the start over here and now the device will reboot and once your device is rebooted you can find the super user app in the app drawer and once the system turns on you need to power it down again and go to download mode and then flash the custom recovery in the same way So guys this method works for both Android 4.4.2 as well as Android 5.0.2 So guys now the device is turned on Now let's see if it has the super user app Let's first sort it according to the name So there we have it the super user app So it actually wants to update the SU binary and for that we need to have so now just press normal and now it will simply flash the super user file okay installation file please reboot and try again okay it is probably because we don't have the custom recovery installed so now let's install the custom recovery I am now powering off my device and I'll put it to download mode now just press menu power down I mean menu volume down and power button and now press volume up and now connect the tab to your computer And now open Odin once again as an admin and the software has already detected your tab. Now let's go back. So guys this is the file that you have downloaded that is a TWRP recovery. Now you need to flash this file. So in the Odin select AP. and just select this file and press start now it will simply flash the custom recovery onto the tab S just so you know guys to enter into the custom recovery you need to press menu volume up and power button at the same time when the device is powered off so let's give it some time to reboot and by the way you can close the order now so guys now the device is turned on now let's go into the recovery let's simply turn it off and now let's press menu volume up and power button at the same time and we are in the TWRP custom recovery so there we have it if you go to backup you can backup the entire OS and if you go to restore and if you already have a backup you can restore the OS and there are some other settings so let's now reboot the system so that's it guys thanks for watching the video if you have any doubts then please let me know by commenting below this video and if you found this video to be helpful please hit the like button and share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.